Well, uh, hello, <coughs> excuse me, and welcome to our Facebook Live today. My name's Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. And what I'd like to show you today is one of our new all-inclusive card kits available from the January to June mini catalogue. So we're in January 2021 and this catalogue has recently been released and one of the things that Stamping Up offer in every catalogue are a selection of kits and some of those are all inclusive which means you have everything you need in the kit to make the cards the only um, difference is um, that you will need a pair of scissors for example to cut the ribbon or the thread it includes the glue needed um, if you've got your own preferred adhesive then um, you obviously you can use that um, and the one today there's two in the new catalog well one's called hello dear friend and that's the all-inclusive card kit and then we also have this kit called you are amazing and this kit consists of components in a kit form but it doesn't include any stamps or any inks and so they give you the recommended suggestions so this is perfect if you've got existing stamp sets for example um, and inks that you can use with the set as opposed to being um, having everything all together in one place morning Carol morning Monica morning Jeanette so the one that we are working on today um, is really my style in terms of the colors so it's got watercolor flowers things like that I appreciate you can't see that in detail let me just open my blind slightly to let in a little bit more light Hopefully that's a bit better. I had to close it because I couldn't see anything on my screen. <clears throat> so it's called Hello Dear Friend. It's £30 and it makes 12 cards um, as it is. And even when you've made those, you have components left over. Um, so you have the stamp set, you have a little ink pad um, and you'll have the adhesives and things like that. So one, what I want to do today is just do a couple of cards from there and then tomorrow I'm going to do some additional cards um, adding in other components and stamping and the like. So all of our card kits like this come in a um, self-contained box so it's perfect if you're um, crafting on the go or if you have limited space because um, what it means you can do is you can keep everything in the box everything you need is there as I say with the exception of scissors to cut the ribbon or anything um, and so you can just use what you've got in the box and then tuck it away and then when you finish the cards you can even keep those in the box ready so let's have a look at this particular kit so I have I did open the components yesterday because I couldn't wait <laughs> till this morning to um, open them up and have a look <clears throat> so I'll talk you through what's in there and then I'll make a couple of cards <coughs> of different designs if you're short of space or if you're away this is perfect this would also be a great idea for somebody um, who is isolating at the moment or um, you just think needs you know a helping hand with something for them to do because it has the photographs of how to put stuff together um, it's relatively light as well to post or you can have it sent direct from stamping up at 495 so let me just show you the components and then I'll get crafting so um, this is just as, <laughs> as I put them back in the box yesterday so no particular order um, we have some dimensionals here so that that's more than you'll need sheet of dimensionals and then we have this lovely copper thread 
we have a stamp set and this is one of the nice things I love about our all-inclusive kits is that they include a stamp set it's always a small stamp set um, and I've had a go at stamping these out so let me show you what they look like because I think they're really nice um, stamps so <coughs> excuse me we have just a little note thank you hello dear friend and a day to remember I really like the font of these I think they're really nice morning Molly it was lovely to see you yesterday and Carol um, so these are the four sentiment stamps that you have and then we also have this um, little flower and stalk which makes cute little um, it could be little roses or just little flowers I think they're just so sweet I've used different colours for those and in the set you get um, one ink pad so misty moonlight for this particular one um, but obviously if you've got existing inks then you can go on and use those in different colours but I think those are so cute um, but I just like the font and also the size of these um, it's a nice thank you and just a little note is so useful um, and a day to remember would be good for a wedding card okay or a birthday it comes with a block as well so it's one of our narrow uh, acrylic blocks but it still do the job and then we have oops just dropping bits and pieces everywhere four different card bases so we have this one here which has got which is already pre-printed so if you're not um, an experienced crafter this is perfect because all you need to put on is a sentiment for example but if you are an existing crafter obviously you can take that and do more with that if you wanted to okay so there's three of those so the whole kit complete makes 12 cards so four different designs three of each but as I said before you can do lots more um, with this I think this is just so pretty okay so that's one card base and these are already scored for you and then we also have this as a card base and again three of these and this one obviously you could rotate and have in landscape if you wished I just think they're so pretty let me grab the other ones of those so there's three of those and then we have matching envelopes for that size so they're nice sturdy envelopes and they're um, printed on the inside so it's not lined it's printed with that lovely old olive stripe so that's one size and then we have these cute little envelopes and cards let me grab these for you so there's two designs of these so we've got this in highland heather and purple posy so this is four and a half inches by two and a half inches um, so from my experience these will go in the post in the UK um, there's two different designs there's this one here and there's this one with the stripes sorry drop that little bit out but these would be perfect as little thank you notes after a birthday for example um, perfect for adding to a little gift for somebody as well um, entirely up to you obviously they are smaller but they have the cutest little envelopes to match so this would be nice as a you know thinking of you card and that um, printing goes right the way inside I don't know if you can see that so those are the 12 card bases and then we have a series of die cuts sorry I popped some of these out already so let me show you that sheet there so we have these yellow layered roses and then we have some Melon Mambo, Misty Moonlight and Highland Heather. 
and these are them they just literally pop out from the page like so so you get three sheets of those you also get some little glue dots as well as the um, dimensionals and then you get three sheets of this vellum so these are vellum die cuts so they're quite large and in the examples they show they put these behind the flowers laid onto each of the larger cards personally <coughs> I don't like to cover up too much so um, I did something different with these yesterday which I'll show you so these have got like a copper foiling on the front but they're vellum and you can attach those with the glue dots that are included so here's another one and then we also have sheets of these um, little pieces of foliage so that one's the one that's popped out from there I popped them out yesterday to have a bit of a play and then finally there's sheets here of white card and it's got bronze foiling on and these are for the sentiments so what you could do if you wanted to is take these and the sentiments <coughs> and just stamp them all up obviously they're different sizes to match the different sizes of sentiments so for example we've got just a little note that would fit on the larger ones the thank you would fit on this smaller one hello dear friend on the medium sized one and a day to remember on this one but obviously those are completely interchangeable you also don't have to use those if you don't want to um, and you can use other stamps and things on there so you get two sheets of those so plenty because on each one there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh yeah twelve <laughs> so that's enough for for the complete set of cards and then you get a duplicate one of those um, so obviously when you finish the 12 cards if you use those then you can use these um, with other cards that you make so there we go that's the components so let's have a go at designing a few cards I'll take um, maybe one large and one small for today I haven't quite decided which one but let's have a look So I hope everybody had a nice weekend. Certainly here we had the snow, as you would have seen. Let's just put that to one side. Okay, so those are my stamp sentiments to the side. All right, so let's take this one here and do a bit of layering with this one so this is perfect for those last minute cards let's bring out that sheet there sorry just want to get sort of one of everything ready and obviously you can embellish embellish this further with your own ribbons and twine and um, uh, embellishments so um, sequins or buttons or pearls whatever you want to do so with this one here you can either take the same color or you could take a contrasting color so for example I could pick up this the pink one here and this one could go uh, could go either way but my gut feel is this should be in landscape mode so let me just fold this over like 
next so just using my bone folder to give that a nice crease so you could literally I know it's going to go for that one wasn't I pick up that and some of the foliage and don't be frightened to cut anything up cut the foliage up so if you only want a little bit of this showing you could cut the um, the edge of this off so that you you're not wasting that bit and then you can use that in another card so I'm thinking something like that and a sentiment up here on the left so I've got um, thank you which I think will fit in there nicely so let's pop that on the block and stamp that one of these out and I find it easier to leave the components in their pack for stamping the sentiments um, just that you've got something more to hold on to um, whereas if you take them all out then you're you know trying to get onto a, a small amount let me move these out of the way for a second um, so I'm actually going to pick up this pink and I'm just going to have a look and see what it is because I said melon mambo but I'm not sure it is oh it is <laughs> there you go it's slightly soft isn't it so let's grab melon mambo so that I'm bringing in the same colour going to try this on the back of here perfect there we go let's wipe that down okay so there's my thank you it's a nice style that's for sure and I think what I'm going to do, I wonder if I might do that this way. Giving some thumbs this morning. Like so. That's my plan. So I'm going to lift these up on dimensionals. So I'm going to pop the flower down first. find them again let's put three on there well, so I'm going to bring this down to the left hand side like so And I'll tuck this in, but I, I'm going to cover these up, so I might as well just um, trim these off because then I can use those for something else. So I'm only going to have that little bit there, and in fact, I could. Just add a little bit there. Okay, so for this one, I'm actually going to use wet glue, but you could use the little glue dots that come in the um, pack. But I'm just using our Tombow, like so. Let's tuck that in. Like so. Might just add. don't need all of that stalk either because so I'm going to tuck it underneath so a dab of glue onto that one 
So I wonder how many of you um, had snow and went out in it <laughs> that are in the UK or um, Canada. Obviously not for our Australian friends who are having the complete opposite. So there's my little thank you. It's going to go in there. And I think I'll put, pop that up on Dimensionals too. There we are. Very cute. Perfect for a little thank you gift. Or if you were giving flowers or something, you could obviously make that a um, more of a birthday, you know, type card to go with it. Get that central, that's a bit better. Carol had a snowball fight with the grandchildren. I wonder who came off best. <laughs> That's the only thing, isn't it? <laughs> so there's one. Let's take one of the other little ones. Okay, so this this is just so pretty. So pretty. Right. And I'm thinking we could use this one here. there as a contrast yes it froze overnight and we had um, we had another sprinkling of snow after I cleared all the cars yesterday <laughs> so I think my son had fun and games this morning so I'm gonna pop that one up on there Or, I mean, something you could do, literally, is just have a thank you in there on its own. Morning, Sam. How are you? But I quite like the contrast of that Melon Mambo against the um, Highland Heather. And I could introduce a little bit of this. If I can find the end. There we go. Pretty, so it's like a copper, bronze, copper colour. And it's, yeah, so it's metallic twine. It's, um, what's the word? It's br sort of braided inside. <laughs> Enjoy the snow, absolutely. So I'm thinking... That one in the center up on dimensionals not sure if you've got this kit Sam it's rather a nice kit hello dear friend and these are the sentiments I love the sentiments here to show you put this behind it just going to wrap that round a little bit <laughs> it's not played the game yeah so let's put going to use town tape because I've run out of um, my seal and like many other people I'm waiting on our deliveries ah good choice let me make sure I've yeah <laughs> got that covered up didn't need quite as much tape I don't think is that whoops Ooh. 
there we go just as well that's going to be covered up isn't it so let's just so I'm just wrapping it round and then adhering it back to the tape like so there we go and I'm just looking at the shape of this as to where those are going to sit What's that? perfect trim that little bit off there and then pop this on top and in fact I think for this one I'm going to put the sentiment on the inside let's push that down over there I'm going to add a um, dimensional in there I think just to hold that in place So to make sure it's hidden. So there we go. So that's the outside. Oh, hi, Carol. Yeah, it's so frustrating, Monica. I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's out. The thing is, it's out of our control. But um, yeah, so we're all waiting for orders from the thirty-first of December onwards. Um. But, you know, we should have expected it was going to be like that, wasn't it? So we've got, hello, dear friend, just a little note. Um, I think just a little note at the top of that would be nice. Yep, that will fit. So let's pop it on the block that's included. And I think... I'm going to stamp it in Melon Mambo again just so I bring that colour in. Obviously you could use the colour of the block that comes with it. So, Carol G, did you have much snow? I wonder. Let's make sure I've got that the right way around. what I mean about the um, style of the sentiment is just so nice really do like it okay so there's another of the so two of the small ones that one and that one we we'll just crease this a bit better now it's finished And then let's do this one. And I think this one just needs a sentiment. The font is so nice, Monica, isn't it? And I do like this um, mix of styles as well, where we have um, capitals and lowercase too. Oh, no snow. Oh, bless you. Oh, Carol, that is disappointing. Come up here. <laughs> right. Uh, let us see what sentiment shall we put on there. I think that just a little note at the bottom would be perfect. So I'm going to use that again. Down there. And just add a little bit of bling. 
and I'm actually going to stamp that in earlier spesso. I could actually use the um, a garden green or shaded spruce, but I do like um, well, I do like early espresso as you know, but a natural colour. Oh. <laughs> Well, you can show him the picture of uh, the video of my dog playing in the snow, if that will help. <laughs> All right, so I'm just inking this up. I'm just going to try this on the back. Perfect. It's just so pretty, isn't it? So let's add that. Just dipped my finger in the ink. Just using that little bit where it comes out, almost like it was made for it. There we go. And let's add a little bit of bling to that. I think that's all, honestly all it needs. So I've got these sequins, and there's a pinky sequin in there which I think will be perfect here this one yeah and luckily I've got three little ones because I think that's all it needs it doesn't need too much so one very indecisive it's Monday morning not enough coffee okay so there's that one there and I think what I'm going to do with this one is stamp the flower on the inside no the bling's not part of the kit <laughs> sorry that's the sequins from um, the playing with patterns set so there we go so let us stamp on the inside so we've got this um, cute little flower and this cute bit of foliage here so I'm just going to use that one there And then this one here. And it's shaded spruce here for those leaves. Sorry, so let the dog out. Okay. So let's just see how the shaded spruce looks. I'm just going to turn this over. Yep, that's perfect. That will do nicely. So it's got some inbuilt um, shading to it. Okay, got a bit of dirt from my ink pad on there though. Okay. So, I've just got it coming off the bottom. Sorry if that was a bit out of your view. And then this is Melon Mambo.
and I'm just taking that point there's like a bottom point of the flower and the petals at the top so I'm just lining that up with the stalk and I missed a little bit so I can put it back in there we go that's so cute that little flower so there we are just a little note and with that on the inside you could put them in all four corners if you wanted to but I just think that's very sweet let me cover these ink pads up before I do any more damage and oh sorry it's gone half past ten went on longer than I was planning so there we go so that's three or four designs now I haven't done them as the instructions um, only because I didn't like the use um, personally of the um, vellum behind this one's really cute might do that one tomorrow um, but let me show you because I had a um, a virtual meeting with some of my customers yesterday um, and so what I did was at the suggestion of somebody and I think it was Babsy um, was to colour this in like a stained glass window so this is what I did yesterday I put it on one of our note cards because um, it fits that perfectly but I took the vellum and then I've taken the blends pens in different colours um, and coloured the reverse side of the vellum oh thank you, oh now the cat's joining in thanks Jeanette um, to create this um, stained glass window effect and so by colouring on the back um, it enables you to hide any join lines and then I've just used the little um, glue dots for attaching that to a note card um, and I think that's really stunning so I've added <laughs> my favourite as you can see just a little note on the inside um, but it's really effective um, so if you want I'll show you how I did that one um, tomorrow okay so there we are um, thank you so much for joining me I hope you've enjoyed what I've um, had to show you today so the kit is called hello dear friend you can find it on page 6 of our January to June 2021 catalogue as I say it's all inclusive so it does include everything um, that I've used obviously not the um, larger block and um, the inks that I've used today but it does have everything in there um, for you to be able to recreate these ones or these ones um, obviously it doesn't include any blends pens so I hope you've enjoyed that thank you so much for joining me I will be back tomorrow with some more ideas from this set um, and then I've got something new for the rest of the week and that's some men's card designs um, and also a special offer for a free class so um, that information will be coming out shortly thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day and if you're watching on replay or catch up or YouTube feel free to make any comments if you've got any questions then obviously I will respond to those in due course enjoy the rest of your day thank you so much for watching me today take care and look after yourselves and your loved ones and I hope you can keep crafting <laughs> bye bye